Hi everyone, it's Liam here from Rating the Races. So we've got four from the flat as well that caught my eye. Um, and the first one was Revich not moving in the handicap. That caught my eye because I think that was uh, not lenient, but I thought it was a bonus for Middle and Park Racing here. Um, the race that Revich ran in, finishing third behind Jimi Hendrix and Latam, that's really good form for me. Um, Jimi Hendrix was one of our horses to follow with uh, his handicap mark was um, had dropped to a, a, a winnable mark. They put the cheek pieces on, I think, or the blinkers, and that worked. And it wasn't on quite as heavy going as he had been running on. Latam had obviously won the Irish Lincolnshire, or Irish Lincoln, um, and came here really unexposed, ran on strongly. Revich has just bumped into two very, very well handicapped horses. He's well handicapped in, in, in himself. Um, as soon as he finds a race that doesn't feature something like this, he's going to go very close and I think he'll he'll take all the beating. I mean, this race that he ran in last year was third, not beaten far, higher mark. Um, I think it was a higher mark. Um, this is where he's got to go next, surely, um, to Chester. If he turns up at Chester, I'd be very, very confident of a huge run. And if you do listen to these, Jamie, um, I don't know if you do, um, Please go to Chester. I think you'll win and I'll be having a bet on him. Um, so, yeah, hopefully uh, we can see Revich win very, very soon. Second horse I want to talk about is Ferris. Um, he dropped £1 to 82 and I think that's quite nice for him. Um, you know, he has had a run. He had had a run going into this race, but it was his first run back on turf. And I kind of feel that even if you've had a fitness run on the all-weather, you kind of have to have a fitness run on the turf as well. It doesn't quite work. Um, and I think this was his fitness run on the turf. He travelled well for a long way. You can actually see he traded 83.3% shorter in the run. He's actually a really strong traveller. You can see he's traded 93.35% here as well. Obviously, he, he won this race at Doncaster. Um, may want a bit more cut in the ground in the fact that his two runs uh, last season both came on, well, came on soft and heavy. Um... But he's a horse that can certainly win a race soon. Where? I think it would go back to Newmarket. 6th of May. Which actually I think is the same date as the Chester race. On the 6th of May there is a 6 furlong 3 year old handicap here. This the Newmarket races.co.uk handicap stakes. For 3 year olds uh, rated 0 to 100. So he'd be right at the bottom of the handicap rated 82. And I think he would run a really big race uh, with Ferris for Jack Shannon. Um, so hopefully that's where Ferris can go next. The next horse I want to talk about is Mockertill. Now you can actually see he's got an entry um, on Saturday, or Sunday, sorry, at Musselburgh. Muscle, Musselburgh. Musselburgh. Now, he has won at Musselburgh before. Let's just have a quick check of this race. And I also want to look at four. Epsom here. So, at Musselburgh... It is a decent race. It's 18 grand to win it. But if you win that, you're going to go up in the handicap. And you're not going to be able to win the dash. Now, he finished fourth in the dash last year off 87. And he won it the year before off 82. He's currently rated 85. So if he went to Musselburgh, what the trainer could be doing here, I don't know if the handicapper takes this into account. He could look at this and go, let's go to Musselburgh. Because the handicapper will look at that and go, well, he's won at Musselburgh before. So if he runs disappointingly, it's a proper disappointing run. And I'm going to drop him £3 for it. If he ran at Musselburgh and dropped £3 afterwards and turned up in the Epsom Dash off 82, the mark he won it off, and he'd also finish fourth off 87, you'd be very confident of another big run in the Dash. Um, so maybe that's what they're doing. They're trying to get one more run into him, get him to drop a few more pounds and turn up in the Dash uh, in on Saturday the 3rd of June. If he turns up in the, the Dash on the 3rd of June, off anything between 82 and 85, um, I'd be very confident of a big run for Mockertill in the Epsom Dash. The final horse I want to talk about is Nymphadora, who caught my eye actually, I remember talking about this one, when finishing second at Royal Ascot in the, is it the Palace of, Palace of House Holyrood? Palace of Holyrood House Stakes. She was very um, eye-catching that day because she stayed on strongly to just get second on the line. And for me, she's been wanting to step up to six furlongs. But they've not done that yet. They ran at Sandown um, afterwards. 
where she ran okay. She was only beaten a length in the end by the actual winner, Rarcel, Ra um, in a good race. I think, was that the charge, is it called? Let's just have a look. It was the Coral Charge, and the form, I think, was quite good as well. Mitt Bahi should have won that. Uh, didn't get the clearest of runs, but Mark Rarcel went on to do well afterwards. Um, and I think Nymphadora just wants six. And then last time out, returning in a listed race at Bath. I say listed race. It was officially a listed race, but it was a hot listed race. I mean, the winner, Happy Romance, is a is a group horse. Um, and even some of the beaten horses were group horses, in my opinion. Nymphadora just wants to step up and trip. I'm sure they'd be, they would have been perfectly um, happy with her return. When she steps up and trip and potentially runs in a handicap at Royal Ascot, I think she'd go really well. That's where I'd be sending her. Not that. That's not where I'd be sending her. That's where I'd be sending her. To the Wokingham. It's over six. Um, it's slightly further than what she's been running in, which I think will suit her. It's back at Royal Ascot, where she's run once and finished second. She also disappointed over five in a group race. That was the Queen Mary. Is it called the Queen Mary? Let's have a quick look. She finished 11th in the Queen Mary. But that was a, a, a group two. She's not a group two horse. She's a top class handicapper. But her mark re reflects that. She's 97. If she turned up off 97 in the Wokingham, I think she would go very, very close. That's only a pound higher than when finishing second in a Royal Ascot last year. Um, so that's where I hope to see uh, Nymphadora next. So the four from here, Revich to Chester, hopefully. Ferris back to Newmarket. I think he'll have... Uh, appreciated the return to the turf. Mockatil, I'm hoping they're going one more run to drop a bit more to then go for the dash. And Nymphadora, go for the Wokingham, and I think she can run a really big race there.